Hey fellow pipe smokers, what is going on? Smoking briar coming at ya. Man, it's been a while. But I thought I would uh, get on here today and make a quick video. Um, a lot of my subs have been asking me, when are you going to make a video? And uh, I know it's been a while, but um, I wanted to get on here just, just for a little bit today and uh, update you guys on what's going on with me and where I've been and where I'm going, all that stuff, and a few shout outs, a few things I want to show you. Um, a lot of you guys don't know, there's a few of you that do, but um, we decided to, um, at the end of, well, it's about the middle of April, um, we decided to move back to Florida. Um, and that pretty much makes it a full circle. Um, we started out in Florida years back and uh, went to uh, North Carolina from there and stayed there for, for a while. Um, that was nice. I enjoyed North Carolina, but the cost of living and the taxes and the lack of decent employment and just a bunch of other factors, um, you know, we decided to move. Uh, we went back up to Ohio for a while. Um, that's where we, we stayed there for last year. Went through a, a real, you know, nasty winter. And I just hadn't seen a winter like that in quite a few years. Um, you know, we had some cold and snow in North Carolina. It wasn't too bad. Um, but it was enough that I just didn't care for it. But when we went back up north further, it was even worse. And I just, I couldn't take that cold and gloomy, dreary weather. And I said, that's, that's it. You know, I said, I'm just going back to Florida. And uh, so we came back to Florida. Um, we're just about an hour north of Tampa, right on the ocean, a little town called Crystal River, Florida. Um, a lot of manatees and things like that here. And um, got a nice little place on a small little lake. And uh, it's, it's been really nice. Um, you can tell by my background I'm not real set up yet. We just got moved in here. We've been here a little over a week or so now, going on the second week. But um, we're trying to get uh, stuff put away day by day. But I thought I'd at least, I found my video camera and got a few things set up. So I said, well, at least I'm going to get on here and visit with you fellas for a while and uh, see what's been going on. But uh, I've been trying to keep up the best I can with videos. Um, you know, I follow a few of you guys on Instagram. Uh, I've been trying to check in there and everything. But I just haven't really had the time to sit down and actually make a video. I've been trying to move and I've been trying to fool around with a few other interests of mine that I've been getting back into. Um, but uh, before we get going here, I just want to got me a OMS cherry wood poker pipe that was gifted to me. Um, I don't think I'm going to tell you who it was gifted to me by because I don't think he he just wants to keep that between he and I, which is which is fine. Um, you know, we we go back and forth all the time. He'll send me stuff, I send him stuff. But you guys probably have to, you know who it is. But but uh, in this pipe, I'm gonna put some. It's this blend right here. This is a blend that Grandpa Cavendish sent me. In uh, Peterson's Founder's Choice. And it says, this is a unique aromatic tobacco with notes of vanilla, rum, and mango. Fresh and fruity blend of Virginia, Oriental, and Burley tobaccos, gently pressed and cut into cubes to give this Peterson tobacco a truly distinctive finish. Now this here is an aromatic that just knocked me right back. Grandpa Kevin just sent me a Ziploc bag of it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this stuff. I'm going to try to hold this up for you guys. Where is it? There you go. See that little cube? Just like a little cube. Looks like a little miniature dice. And all this tobacco, right there, is all cut up into these little squares. Uh, it's kind of like cube cut burly, only it's a little bit bigger. But he had made a video about this tobacco and 
I said, man, I said, I, I just want to try it because of what it looks like. So Grandpa Cavendish, he, uh, he put some in the mail to me, a Ziploc bag, decent sized bag. And uh, I smoked three or four bowls of it. I said, man, this is good. You know, for an aromatic, um, you know, I'm not a real big aromatic smoker. Uh, I do like my Boswell's aromatics, but I just, I, I guess after about the third bowl of this, I said, good Lord, I said, this is, this is some top, top shelf stuff right here. So I jumped on all the websites I could find and ordered me a bunch of this stuff. Um, I've got a bunch of tins like you just seen that aren't even open, but I just got this pipe loader. This is my first smoke in this pipe. So this is a, this is going to be a brand new pipe and a real good tobacco. Um, show it to you one more time just in case you're interested. Founder's Choice, big thick 100 gram tin. Cost you a $20 bill for it and uh, light it up. I'm going to tell you what, for an aromatic, I don't know what it is, but it just, it smells just like it tastes. It's just a good blend. I really enjoy it. So if you're into aromatic tobaccos, and maybe even if you're not, this may be one you want to, you want to give a chance because uh, it actually tastes, you know, and it's not all sticky and nasty and goopy like aromatics. It doesn't mess up your pipe. Matter of fact, this is one of the few tobaccos I've had. It's an aromatic that smoked right down to the bottom of the bowl in a nice white ash, and, and I was, I'm not used to that. I'm used to having that wet, nasty, goopy mess in the bottom of the bowl. But this just didn't do it. This was a good blend. But uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple of things, too, as long as I'm here. Um, I'm going to talk to you especially about a couple of channels. Um, if you get a chance, I'm going to put the links to these channels right in the bucket. And um, you guys all know that I follow Heisenberg067. Uh, he goes by Berg. Um, go check his channel out. If you guys haven't gone over and checked out old Berg, you owe it to yourself to go give him a look. He is a fine, fine gentleman. Um, he's become one of the, my best friends here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, he's an excellent, excellent man. Um, he puts out some decent videos. And uh, he, he's just... I'll tell you what, if you become friends with Old Berg, you got a friend for life. He's just a good man. And if you haven't checked out his channel, you'd be you would be uh, hard pressed to find a better guy to watch. Um, he's just a nice guy. So, you know, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the bucket. You can go over and take a look at him if you want to and give him a sub and um, tell him Smoke and Briar sent you. And uh, another channel, um, we'll get me some more of this pipe while I'm sitting here running my mouth at you. Man, it's a good blend. Uh, another channel I want you to take a look at if you want to is 1972 Woodsman. Again, I'll drop a link right in the bucket. A lot of you guys in the pipe community um, may or may not remember um, his old channel. Um, he's been gone for a while, and he used to be you know, strictly in the pipe community making pipe videos. And he now has a channel that has hunting videos, fishing videos, pipe smoking videos. Um, he does a lot of work with, um, you know, uh, wood, wood, crap, wood, you know, woodsman stuff. Uh, he does uh, axes and knives and, and woodworking and just carpentry work. He's, he's, got, he's got his hands into everything. He's a very talented fella. Um, he does a lot of things. Um, he recently got me back into shooting uh, a bow and arrow. Um, I used to shoot a lot of archery when I was younger. 
quite a bit of it, but because of, you know, some of my health issues, I figured I'd never be able to do that again. And I'd watched a couple of his videos that he made about, um, you know, shooting his bow, and I said, man, I sure wish I could do that. You know, I used to love doing that, and... So he, um... He got talking to me, you know, and we exchanged emails, and he said, there ain't no reason you can't, you know? And he started talking to me about these new bows and new, you know, all this new archery equipment, and I got interested in it. So I went up to the local shop here where I just moved to, and those guys are, they got a really good shop. I was lucky enough to have a good shop with a lot of experienced people in it. And, uh, yeah, I got right back into it, and I, I didn't realize I could even shoot anymore. So I've been spending some time doing that and getting, bought a new bow and got that set up. But, but uh, his name is Eric. Um, he helped me all the way, set me up, got me going in this stuff, and uh, he's just become a real good friend. Like I said, I knew him years ago, and um, we used to argue back and forth about Christianity all the time. And uh, back in those days, he he uh, he wasn't a Christian, and I used to get on him, but I said, man, you better get with the Lord. I said, because, you know, and we used to go back and forth, and, and uh, but... Uh, he 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 just become a, he, he was a Christian before for many years and he he finally turned back to 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 the Lord and uh, he became a good Christian again and and he made a few videos you know about that and and uh, he, you know he's just a good man he's a good family man and I'd I'd really like you I'd really appreciate it guys if you'd go over and look at his channel uh, 1972 Woodsman I'm gonna put that link right here he actually uh, he made me this this uh, cross right here. He carved this for me by hand, put it on a nice leather cord for me, and uh, he wears one of these. And I said, "Boy, I said I would be, I would be honored if you'd uh, make me one of those, you know." And I offered to get it from him, and he he said, "I'll carve you one and send it to you." So he just sent it to me free of charge. But he does make these things, and he does a lot of work on. Uh, axe heads and blades and sharpening and stuff and and uh you know he, if you guys are into that kind of thing he, he does it professionally so um you know just just go check him out i think you'll find something on his channel that you like because he's just a very like i said he's a talented guy he's into everything so if you give him a look it would be a i consider that a personal favor to me um but yeah things are going good um, down here in Florida now just it's getting towards the hot season but um, I really like it I um, want to give a shout out to uh, pipes and pipes and kayaks Brad um, I'm sure most of you guys know his channel if not I'm gonna drop a link to his channel too um, Brad's a great guy and he just did his first kayak video of the year um, he's got some good weather up north where he lives now so he put his kayak in and he went out and and uh, if you like that kind of stuff, you know, hiking, kayaking, pipe smoking and stuff, um, give old Brad a look because he's he's got a great channel and he's he's become a good friend too. I talk to Brad just about every day, either through YouTube or Instagram or whatever, and we've been sending packages back and forth and stuff too. But uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been up to, just trying to get settled here and get the house in order and. Um, Everything's been going pretty well, and uh, so I just wanted to get on here and at least show my face and uh, tell you guys what's been happening. So, uh, all right, I'm going to finish up this pipe here. Been doing too much talking and not enough smoking, but it's good seeing you guys. And uh, as soon as I get settled in a little bit more, um, I'll be getting back to doing some videos. So. All right, I'll talk with you all later. It's been good seeing you, and uh, we'll smoke another bowl again soon. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.